Hey guys, a little bit of an announcement before this week's video. Uh, we are proud to say that we have our website, flyingwithbigearn.com. Many of you guys know I have a video editor. His name is Luke. He's one of the greatest humans I've ever met. Uh, we had this idea of putting together a website for an aviation community. We're gonna plan to have a lot of fly-ins, uh, going out to different uh, locations, to restaurants, checking it out, and uh, kind of giving our reviews and, and just kind of being a community. Um, the number two thing about this website, it's gonna give you a way to give us input on what videos you guys wanna see. I know you guys usually put that down below, uh, this is another way to go straight to the source, give us some good video ideas, what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see in the future videos. And the last but not least, uh, we have merchandise on there as well. Looks put together a really cool storefront and uh, it, we got some merch. Go get yourself some merch. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, for launching this, we're going to have through the weekend uh, discount code use big earn on the website and you'll get 10% off the whole weekend. So again, I can't be more appreciative to look for putting this together is a great idea. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys out there on the road. For now, have fun with the video. Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Hey, it's a really good day because I get to fly with someone that I have watched go from 300 hours as a uh, commercial pilot, um, just getting his commercial, flying warbirds with his dad, to actually flying with him here at Southwest. So, super treat uh, today, we are gonna be flying with... Matt. What's going on, guys? You guys probably remember the uh, video with uh, Matt's father. Um, we flew with him probably about a year ago. It's been about a year. Uh, yeah, it was right before I got hired. Yeah, so it's, yeah, we'll link it up, uh, if you guys forget, we'll link it up above so you guys can watch that with Tom, uh, who is the assistant chief pilot here in Phoenix, uh, back when I flew with him. So now I get to fly with his son, and he's got a really cool story I'll fill you guys in on uh, as we go about this trip. Uh, this trip, just to tell you guys, it's a reserve trip for both of us. Uh, I had a two-day block of reserve. They called me uh, kind of like as a short call. Uh, short notice uh, trip so I had a little less than two hours to get here technically I have two hours but got here in about two hours and uh, we're just kind of getting everything going here's another cool thing my daughter is flying the Green Hornet to uh, go grab Sam so I'm kind of watching her uh, right now fly along uh, just just to the uh, west of Phoenix so the whole family's flying today. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad's flying too, man. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, my yeah. dad's flying the Blue Hornet, we'll call it that. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Tom has a very, very slick, it's an RV7. RV7. Yeah. I actually got to fly in it. He flew a couple times upside down. My uh, my aerobatic skills are uh, not up to par anymore since I'm long out of the Air Force. And uh, I did two rolls and I was done. <laughs> so, anyways, we're gonna have a good time on this trip. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. We're gonna talk about some food because I know you guys liked that the last time we were in Hawaii. We talked about some food stuff and we were going to Austin today. So first leg is over to Tulsa. Then we're gonna go into Austin. Then we're gonna grab some, uh, some good food. We'll, we'll give you guys a review too. All right, come on. We just arrived here uh, in Tulsa. Bravo 3 is our gate. And uh, I actually flew without the HUD for once. It, the lighting was a little dim. It, I just couldn't see it really well, so I just went without it. I don't know, Matt, what do you think? Now, before I rate it, I just want to show you guys <laughs> my side of the cockpit, which never <laughs> has a HUD. All right, so never has a HUD. That is true. But it was a 10 out of 10. Ah, Stand look at that. Stand by for the rating on my landing in Austin. Santa Claus here. Santa. Make him a check airman. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hey, we are going to talk to Matt. Matt has an incredible story. Like I said, I've known Matt since he was 300 hours, you know, hustling, trying to get to flight time. Uh, since then, he's done some pretty cool stuff, uh, flown corporate. He was actually hired at the Air National Guard in Arizona, the Copperheads, uh, but had a little issue with the uh, medical and, uh, you know, he couldn't get a pilot slot. But he didn't give up, which is one thing that I want to impress on all you guys, and he'll tell you his story. But Matt, tell, tell us a little bit about your story and how you kind of got to this position in the right seat. Yeah, uh, well, first off, incredibly grateful to one, be flying here at Southwest, not just with Ernie, but you guys have seen the previous video that uh, he's also tagged up there with my dad. It's a huge honor to be at a place being able to fly with my dad before he retires. So that's one thing that was always the goal. 
But like Ernie said, I tried getting on with the uh, the Garda Reserves, which is always a great route. Um, but unfortunately, I had a, just a slight medical issue that didn't deter me away from just flying itself, just from the uh, the Air National Guard. And we can't all be superhumans like this guy behind <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, right. Especially with that 10 out of 10 landing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so <clears throat> for a little while, I thought about going a different route, and I worked on uh, some sales for a little bit. I was a bartender, and I did some liquor sales for a bit with a distributor. And uh, after about eight months of that, I realized this is the life for me. This is a good place to be. So I put my bat, my butt back in a uh, in an aircraft and started getting all my hours built up. And I worked for a brief period of time flying a Pilatus for a little company called Boutique Air. And then uh, I got hired on with a medevac company out of Charlotte. But what we were doing there was really awesome and it was a huge honor is we were bringing people back from uh, Europe, Africa, parts of Asia as well, and getting them back home to the United States where they needed to be to get the treatment that they actually were required to have for uh, maybe botched vacations that they had out there or sometimes Department of Defense uh, contracts we had too. After I did that, I was still flying a Hawker, but I was just doing corporate charter, building up a lot of time. I was a captain there and I uh, got my PIC time. And sure enough, within about, I think about four years after I was interviewing with the guard is when I actually got hired here. So uh, it doesn't take too long if you uh, want to build up your time and get things going. You can be in this seat a lot faster than you really think. It seems like it's so far down the line, but it happens real quick. That's awesome. So the, the theme I want to harp upon everybody is, you know, you're going to have obstacles. You're going to have challenges that come up. Um, it's what you do with those challenges. You know, Matt didn't give up. He's like, you know, this flying thing's pretty cool and I want to make sure I do it. And he did what he had to do to get, uh, get that position. Sometimes the road to this seat is not a direct line so just just know that um you know there are challenges out there just overcome uh, you never fail unless you quit so never ring the bell never quit i think that's that's probably the overarching theme on this so matt it's an honor flying with you man it's 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 so cool because i see tom his father how proud he is and i'm proud of him uh, just knowing what he's gone through too. So, all right, guys, never give up. That's the the, the name, uh, the theme of this whole video. Um, just just keep plugging away. Don't ring the bell. All right, we'll see you in Austin. Here, finally, to uh, Austin. I say finally, but uh, because one of our airplanes uh, had a little bit of a mechanical leaving, so uh, when they were on the pushback, so they had to push them in. We had to hold out for a gate, but otherwise, uh, not too bad. What was interesting about our flight? was getting out of here, uh, getting out of Tulsa and threading this needle. This needle was a little, uh, a little interesting getting out. It was uh, a little bit bumpy, but we got through it. And the rating for Matt's landing, 10 out of 10. <laughs> you did a good job, good job, good landing. Uh, it's gusty, challenging conditions here, so. Oh, you don't have to lie. Okay, it was calm. <laughs> nah, I was windy. <laughs> nah, I was windy. But, uh, anyways, uh, took us only an hour and 12, but our block's gonna be a lot higher than that, uh, just because we had, uh, had us pulled out for a game. But anyways, uh, we are both on reserve. Um, our deal is to go to the uh, hotel right now, but we're gonna see if they actually, this airplane's heading back to Phoenix, so we're gonna see if we can hop a ride back to Phoenix instead of deadheading tomorrow. May or may not work, we're just gonna ask, and uh, if it doesn't, we'll, uh, well, we'll see you in the hotel. <laughs> All right, we're on the band. They were patting him down. I, I knew where it was. Him. He wasn't trusting me. He looked like a slob. That's true. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't trust him. <laughs> it's just different. It was a different spot. Whoa. It's like a mechanical bull. It's a difficult or a different spot than usual. So that's kind of why I was. I was not, uh, not that I didn't trust him. I just was, like I was I was just I was we just like checking. Changes. The FO typically signs in for the crew, well, at least the two pilots, uh, once we get here. So, oh, Matt's gonna sign us in. Hopefully, get us a good room. Uh, maybe get us an upgrade. I don't know. What do you guys think? Think he'll do that? He's got to put the charm on. <laughs> uh, not too shabby, you know. Actually, this, believe it or not. We are staying right, you probably do believe it, because I believe it, we are staying right on the airport property here at uh, Austin, only because it's a short overnight. Um, we typically have longer overnights, we stay downtown. Uh, this being a shorter overnight, 
Um, I think we had about 12 hours or something like that, 13 hours. But uh, they put us right here on the field. So um, you can see the control tower just off in the distance there. It's actually a really nice, comfortable room. Don't actually need much, right? You know me, I just need a good gym and some good food. So we're gonna try to run downstairs really quick, uh, hit the gym. If you're following me on Instagram, you'll probably see a review of that because uh, Billy Hutch and I are, are trying to do reviews of hotel gyms as we uh, move about the country. So you guys will probably see that. But uh, anyways, we're gonna get downstairs, grab a really quick workout, and then uh, we're gonna try to maybe grab some barbecue downtown. So we have to Uber there. And if you know anything about Austin, it is six o'clock in the evening and traffic is gonna be awful. So <laughs> anyways, we're gonna get after it. Uh, we'll show you some more stuff here in a little bit. Guys, we are here at Terry Black's Barbecue. Oh yeah, check it. So we will do a review for you on how this, uh, this barbecue is. Check it out. If only there was scratch and sniff TVs, man. Dude, this place smells amazing. And I, I can't wait to get down on some of this barbecue. So uh, we'll give you a good review of it. Terry Black's here in Austin. It smells good. What do you think? We ate more than we could handle because it was that good. I am so uncomfortably full right yeah. now. I oh, cannot yeah. tell you, but you Terry for a three mile run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to see what comes up after that three mile run. But anyways, Terry Black's. You got it in the background here. Just like our landings, Just 10 like out of 10. 10 out of 10. So you guys are anywhere near Austin. You guys gotta try this place out, it is phenomenal. Um, some of the best barbecue I've had. So, and it's a really cool environment. So go check it out. Uh, 10 out of 10, this is great. Good stuff. All right guys, good morning everybody. It's, uh, it's actually not bad. Uh, it's about 5.30 in the morning here, 5.20, but uh, we have just a deadhead today, so we're gonna go run and grab our deadhead. Looks like uh, the van is here, so we're gonna go head out. One deadhead to Phoenix. We'll see if they use us. We are still on reserve, so you never know. <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's go grab this deadhead. We love a good random security check. So how's that? How's that experience? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's nice. Is it a good experience? Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, here we are, deadheading back. We are hoping that we, uh, when we get back, they don't have anything for us. Praying. Praying. Because we get back at like seven o'clock in the morning. What do you think the odds are, Matt? Not good, eh? Uh, about the same odds Not... as U of A winning March Madness. That's right. And they're already out. For the, <laughs> <laughs> for the, t uh, terrest... for the territorial cup every year. Oh yeah, come on. That's yeah. a good one. Good doubles. <laughs> Anyways, guys, bright and early. It, it's uh, actually it's not too bad. It's only about uh, <laughs> only about six o'clock in the morning, so we're good. Hopefully, we get back. We'll see what happens. Obviously, we're we're available, and uh, it's cool flying with Matt. So, it'd be, would not be a bad thing so if we had another leg. Although we're kind of hoping that we don't have another. We'll have more in the next 18 years. We uh, yeah, we have plenty <laughs> of time for more legs for them to pile on them. So, anyways. All right, nice view. One more time. Next stop, Phoenix. That is it. We are back in Phoenix. It's not even seven o'clock in the morning yet. I am uh, still on on call, uh, just like Matt. So hey, do want to give a shout out to Matt. He is absolutely fun to fly with. Uh, new, you know, when you're new, the biggest thing to bring is a great attitude. The ability to learn um, I don't know everything but you know he was willing to take instruction of uh, some of the just the pointers that you know from being here 12 years can uh, can help so anyways uh, that is it I hope you guys are having a good day I hope you guys enjoyed the review let me know if those uh, reviews are something you guys want to see I love food so if I can find a good food spot for you guys I'm gonna do that all right guys have a great morning